consoling her and loving her through it got me another month in the gallery for free. As a matter of fact, someone else paid for a grant for the teachers union, but that grant ended up going to me. So this is so again, it's rolling around. And these are liberal people, and they're not that nice. I had to communicate with some of them the day that I was sending it out. They're not that nice. I'm like, okay, okay, just take my painting uh, and 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 put it in your 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 show. Your for show, for show. Put my painting in your show. Why? Why? Because I pray over all my stuff. And where it goes, blessing follows. Uh, and the moment I leave your presence, uh, you know it because your heart stops. Come on, another. Come on, you know it. There are people that are in your life uh, that the moment they walk in, uh, it seems like things are uh, blooming and uh, blessed. Uh, but the moment they walk out of your life, uh, your heart drops. Uh, it uh, takes a drop. Uh, I really want to let this person go because they get on my nerves. Uh, but they serve to bring me joy in the midst of whatever my situation is. Uh, so possibly could it be that uh, I'm not where I'm supposed to be and they are just a picture of a what I should be doing at this time. You know what I mean? Said that about that woman. I said, uh-uh. I gotta, I gotta come up fighting. I should, I could be, I could do better. Mind you, I'm sitting, I'm laid out on the couch at this point because we went shopping and I had to run upstairs. And it wasn't that I was laid out because I was out of breath. I was laid out because my knee and both my foot, my left foot were hurting. So my left foot is now wrapped up in a bandage and my right knee is wrapped up in a bandage. I'm supposed to wear a brace on it. This brace is just so uncomfortable. But I'm not. But I'm, I'm, I'm basically, I laid, I laid out my legs up and I said, uh-uh, I could do better. I should have done better by now. I looked around and I was like, what? <laughs> she got a business. I'm not comparing myself to her. I am proud of her. Proud of her. She's still here from COVID. And you, uh, you are complaining and blaming God, but you got all you the use of all your limbs. But she heard herself hiking. Hiking, doing something, reaching out. Hikers have a place in my heart. Because they're so peaceful. And then they're doing a sport, which is beautiful to me. Because they're reaching higher and going to higher heights. And, and, and not deeper depths, I don't know about that. But higher heights than God. When you hike, it's something about going up the mountain. And climbing up the air. And looking around and finding God and all of his glory in it. If I was going to pick a peaceful sport off to the side, it would be hiking. Except I'm definitely afraid of heights. I'm still nervous about walking past the window. In my house, it's an issue, but it won't be an issue for long. Cause God is gonna come in and ease this thing over. God, you are my security, and even though I have the fear of heights, I will not keep it for long. Soon, I will be able to open my back door and enjoy my deck. Oh, I will deck while I'm decking the enemy in his face. Hallelujah! I'm gonna enjoy my deck while I'm decking the enemy in his face, in his face, in his face. I will have the hurricane past it, hurricane past the window. I want to be able to go. By the window and pray like Daniel did. I don't want my window to become sin nose because it provides anxiety for me. I need to get my curtains up. Once my curtains are up, I will be free. I need to get my curtains up because eventually the same thing happened on Jonathan Street. Remember I told y'all it took me four days to go upstairs? Four days. <laughs> and God was like, okay, Jameis, that, that's enough. That's enough sleeping on the couch. You have a bed upstairs that I had not even seen. I had not seen my bed. I had not seen my furniture. I went upstairs and I was walking around on eggshells so nervous. Because it was a, a high stairs. It, it was lofty. The, the house is low, it was lofty. So I went upstairs and I was looking around. I was like, oh, this is, this is nice. God, uh, I give you the glory for it. Because even in the midst of it, uh, you have blessed me. Uh, hallelujah. I eventually got used to it. I was running up down the stairs like it was nothing. I will get used to it. Uh, but for right now, moving into it, uh, going up to the second floor in this place uh, is much higher than it was in the last floor. Going from the base to the second floor, or to the next floor up, it's, it's, it's higher here. And I'm gonna, uh, I asked you to deliver me, God, but you took me to a place where I have to, uh, it's much higher than uh, how God, uh, 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 reaching you is much harder than uh, it was in the other place. And, uh, this mountain is much steeper, God, than, than, than I thought it would be. I'm always looking to uh, out. Do out, turn out, run out, kick me. The last I went on Monday to Zumba and uh, uh, not arthritis, but um, aqua size, close to the cold pool. And I actually did bands on Monday instead of doing aqua size, which was I mean I was happy with it, fantastic. I used the hardest bands, right? Because that's Jamie. And I worked my tail out in the warm pool, then jumped into the cold pool, which makes it even more colder. 
But I said, that's okay, I'm going to do it. I got in there, warmed myself up, and then, and then did Zumba. But I said, I'm not going to let myself sit. I just do wing the normal kick. If they ask me to kick, I'm going to kick. I can kick going forward. I'm going looking forward. I can kick at the height of my head. Going out to the side, I have a little trouble. I used to be able to kick out to the side as about high in my head. But now I can only come up to half the size of my body. But I, but I didn't give myself no breaks. I didn't give myself no breaks. I didn't sit down. This will be easy, easy. Easy, easy for me to say that it's okay for me to sit in my situation and blame the knee for it. I can't do it because this knee tells me that it's hurting. But the reason why I tell my knee to shut up at night because I can give myself a reasons and say I can't do this thing because of my knee, brother. The back talk and behind that says I can do all things through Christ. Can I find Christ in it? Where's Jesus in it? Where's Jesus in it? Does Jesus I can't, or does he lie that I can do? There ain't nothing that says I can't about God. You will never hear God in any situation say I can't of in anything. God doesn't know can or can't. Jesus don't know can or can't. He said, if you had faith the size of a mustard seed, you would say. I said, why does it say you can say? Why does it say that? Because Jesus doesn't know can. He just doesn't, he doesn't, he doesn't affiliate or associate himself with a can. What do you mean can? There's, a, there's no can, there's no, that you hear mind, will, and emotions. You don't hear mind, uh, uh, ability, and, and emotions. Will you do it? It's the answer, not can you. It's always possible when you've got God with you. I can do! It's Paul's answer for the situation, right? But this here's the thing. I'm not living in the polls. I am appalled by the Paul situation because I can't live with Paul's testimony. Paul didn't know Paul had read Paul's books before he got set free. If Paul had read Paul's books, Paul would be where I'm standing and he would be saying the same thing. He wouldn't be saying, I can do all things through Christ. He would be saying, I will do them. Paul didn't say I can go write a letter to Rome. He wrote it. Paul didn't say I can write a letter to Ephesus. He wrote it. Paul didn't say I can write a letter or a couple of letters to Corinthian church. He wrote to them. Paul didn't live in I can. He gave that to you because you were on milk and not on meat. You don't want the meat of the world. You just want the milk in it. He gave you and now you are milking what he gave you as milk. We milk the situation when we think we could get more from it than we should. You want to? He said I gave you I can. Move up to I, I will do these things and you want to rest on and sit in your situation. No, I like how it looks from I can. I know your situation rocks out. Well, God, what happens to a little child if you let them stay on the bottle too long? The milk is good, but the bottle, the, not, the nipple rots their teeth out. Then the teeth fall out. You don't listen. When people tell us you need to shoot for higher, you are king, you are queen, you need to look higher. Always be looking higher than where you're at. When you know I'm okay sitting here, you are layers to see, and that's what you are. And here you are complaining and crying about your situation. Now you got the result of your layer to see in mind. Set uh, you set your eyes uh, on the layer to see in uh, a situation instead of fixing your eyes on Jesus. Uh, uh, look at the uh, joy set before him, he endured the cross. Uh, you ain't enduring nothing. Uh, if you would endure something. Thing, you would go higher when we're praying on the prayer call. Where are you when we're fasting for the church? Where are you when we're lifting God's name up? Where are you? That's why you ain't got no anointing because you ain't enduring nothing. The anointing destroys the yoke. What makes you think that's gonna come free? Y'all play video games. Y'all know I watched Jonathan for a little while at Christina's house, and with the way he plays, he plays with the, the headphones on and everything. But he was, because I'm there, he's so polite, so he was talking to me while I was playing, telling me, explaining to me what he was doing. But meanwhile, he can hear people in his headset. He told me, he said, okay, Jamie, I went for this pack instead of this pack of weapons. I said, why? He said, because if I go for that pack, it's just a, yes, I'm going to have to fight all these, uh, I'm going to have to fight uh, like a couple of like people to get to that pack. But the other pack, I'm going to need for the next destination. 
you don't got what you need uh, where you at now you don't got what you need because you kept walking kairos uh, but you didn't fight the battle chronos to get it see here's the thing uh, he said i will get what I, I get what i need basically if i fight that little person and then get it uh, but i will not have what i need uh, for the next destination if i don't fight this group of people yes it's gonna hurt yes it's gonna be a lot uh, but i have to give more to get what i need i have to give more to get what i got and he got to, to the next destination he was fine uh, with the weapons uh, he got a couple of extra weapons uh, why because he put himself out there not only do you get what you need but now you get that, what you need for the next destination and you get some spoils uh, some butterfly clips to put in your hair i come on and i it a lot i i just like my hair i just i like playing with my hair i will do all things to christ bye bye no Nuh, i can if god don't speak can then i ain't speaking it either god said he don't know can he never felt me yet oh he never felt me yet yeah jesus christ never failed me yet is that song right <laughs> say some lies on that one everywhere i go i want the world to know shut up Lately, actually, since I started doing this blog, I feel like I have a, my mind is tuned in to a heavenly radio station. I said that in the beginning, couple, like a year and a half ago, and I just hear heaven all the time. God said he never failed me yet. It's uh, obnoxious. They don't even call it a song. It's cute that you sing it because you have no other way of expressing who he really is because you don't know the word. If you knew Jesus Christ, you would know words uh, to express him as he is. I have the benefit of being a poet, right? So I could come up with words um, off the, 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 the cuff. Um, absolutely um, epic and epochally. Thank you, Pastor Randy, for that one. I, hmm, I, <laughs> I don't go small with God. I am not magnanimous. Mag you magnify your God, but I magnanimously lift my God up. I put him on the throne of my heart. Nobody can move him off of it. I dare you to try. Me in this. Try me. <laughs> I don't go small with him. Right? You do because you, you don't know the word. If you knew the word, that, that you would know the words that they use. They don't use fix. You just fix your eyes on Jesus. They use fix in a permanent way. But they don't use fix as a natural word or as a, in, a, in a natural way because the natural is going to pass away. So when you fix something, if I fix my rug, I don't change my rug unless I go and get another rug and put it down, right? But, but that's the word they use. They use change. You use fix the rug. They don't want to talk to you about fixing the rug in the natural because you are just adjusting the, what it is as it is there. You change it and they will talk to you about that. Clean it. You do something permanent for it. Or pick it up. Get rid of it. That's permanent, right? They will talk to you about change. They will talk to you about permanent, but they don't talk natural now words to you. They they will not talk about fix. They want to talk about change with you. You fix you. That's what you do. You fix your hair. But God does lifestyle changes to you. He don't touch your hair. He don't care. Oh, I mean, he cares about how many hairs are on your head, right? But he don't care to fix your hair and put butterfly clips in it. That's you. You style your hair in the morning. He don't care about your shoes. <laughs> Even your shotting. He don't. He, it's not on his schedule. He don't care about your shotting feet. Why? That's how it's because you are going to go into the battle either way, right? So if you're going into the battle, he's giving you your armor. You've got everything you need. And so he's going off to do grand things. He don't sit and talk to you about the, okay, come on, baby. Put on shoes. We want you to stop wearing Nikes. We want you to walk in victory and I see a. He's not going to sit there and baby you.